So here's Stella. She just got back from the vet. She was fixed today. I'm going to let her out of her little carrier. And this is Simba. He was fixed on the same day. I'm going to let them both out. Come on, Stella. You're a good girl. You know where you are. You're home. Her eyes are still very big. You're home now. It's okay, Stella. I had some flannel pajamas in there to make it comfortable for her. And here's Simba. Simba! You're home. You're back. You're back from the vet. Stella's not happy. There's still like a little loopy and groggy from the uh, anesthesia. Simba's drinking water. How you doing, Simba? So Stella came home and she's been drinking some water and she's really out of it. I don't know if it's the pain meds or is she still under anesthesia or what, but Simba is a little more with it and still is out of it. So it is now the morning after uh, Stella got fixed and this is what she's looking like. She's laying under the dining room table. She just wants to uh, lay under here. She's still under the effects of pain medication. Uh, they give them a pain shot that will last in their system for three days. Um, so it's still making her um, just very calm and I don't know how much pain she's in, but they said that she's not gonna be herself for about three days. Um, so this will be day one. And this is what the uh, incision looks like. I have a flashlight on it. Um, so they shaved the area, they made the incision, and they told me that there's three layers of stitches underneath. On the outside, they use a surgical glue uh, to keep the wound closed. So she doesn't look like she's in a lot of pain. She's just kind of like relaxing right now. I don't want to shine the light in her eyes. Um, so I want to just let her relax today and um, heal up and hopefully she'll be doing that. Now, on the other hand, we have Simba, who was up all night. He was also fixed yesterday. He was also given the same pain medication, and he came home like nothing happened, and he just wants everyone to pet him, and he wants to roam around the house, and he discovered the fish tank, so he's trying to get into the fish tank. He discovered that he could look outside the kitchen windows and he tries to get closer to the windows by jumping on the counters, which I'm not having at all. Uh, but he's not supposed to be jumping. So I'm trying to keep him out of the room with the fish, the room with the counters, pretty much everywhere. So right now he's in the spare bedroom. It's a small room and he's not happy to be in there by himself. You can hear me, he's just meowing, meowing, meowing. But I have to go out right now. I have to run to my office, uh, pick up my computer there, because I need to get some work done today. And he's gonna have to stay, look, he's gonna have to stay in this room for like an hour while I'm gone. Maybe a half hour if I could make it fast. But he's not happy. But other than that, he seems to be feeling pretty well. He ate, they both drank a lot of water, they both pooped, used the litter box. So this is the day after the spay and neuter surgeries. So here's Stella. It has now been four days since she was fixed. She was fixed on Monday afternoon and it is now Friday night. Um, so she's been in rehab for the past four days, her and Simba. Simba was fixed also. And I only had two carriers so I could only do two cats on that day. Um, Splash has not been fixed yet but he will be fixed soon. Uh, so anyway, I've kind of converted uh, the upstairs of my house into a cat rehab facility and I had to um, 
put this rug here so they have something to scratch on and buy a few uh, scratching posts because they were scratching up all of my furniture. I also brought some of their toys up here and I've just been making it comfortable for them so they can heal. Um, they have like three more days and it'll be a week and the vet said um, it'll be seven to ten days before they can go outside or before they really can climb stairs. Um, so that's why I kind of have them isolated up here. Although right now Simba is downstairs with Splash right now. Um, his operation was way less invasive than Stella's was. So I've let him go up and down the stairs maybe like once a day um, instead of their usual running up and down the stairs multiple times a day. So let me see if I could show you uh, Stella's um, incision. Stella, how you doing, baby? Let's show everybody your operation. So this is where Stella was operated on. There's a little redness, and you could see the incision. It looks pretty dark right now, but I think a lot of that is just shadow. She seems to be healing well. She doesn't seem to be in much pain. Now they were on a 72 hour pain medication and that wore off yesterday afternoon or yesterday evening. And they've been sleeping more since it wore off. But she seems to be doing okay. She actually just walked off to eat some food. So since the pain medication wore off, I feel like they've been sleeping a little bit more uh, but not much. They've been getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning and pretty much running around the house and wrecking havoc. She's been pretty playful this evening also. Don't bite that, Stella. Don't bite you. Don't bite your stitches. Don't bite your stitches. Hello, Stella. How you feeling? You healing up okay? You healing up okay after your surgery? Hello, Splash. So, he was crying a lot, which is why I took the camera out. Now, once the camera's out, he doesn't cry. I think he really likes being on camera. It is now 11 days since Stella had her operation, since she was spayed and fixed. And this is what it's looking like. It's been healing nicely. Um, there's some scabbing along the incision but everything is looking nice and clean. And there's a close-up for you. So you can see how the incision has been healing. So right now she's relaxing. She has been back to her usual self uh, the past several days or probably like the past week. If anything, I would say she's actually nicer now than she was before the surgery. Um, there's times now like what I'll pet her and she'll go to swat me and then she'll catch herself and she won't swat me where in the past she would swat me and scratch me and now um, sometimes she'll catch herself and there's other times where she'll swat me but she doesn't put her claws out um, so it'll just be like you know a paw slap uh, instead of like scratching me um, so I think um, it's definitely been beneficial in many areas so she's been doing well. She's a little tired right now, right, Stella? So here's Simba. It has been 11 days for him also. And he bounced back a lot faster uh, than Stella did. His procedure was obviously a lot less invasive. And he's been back to normal himself also. He's been running around with Splash, wrestling, climbing things, and having a good time. So this is Simba, and that's where he had his operation, and he healed up very nicely. 
Once his fur grows back, then he'll look normal. Right, Sims? Right, Sims? He's so fluffy.